This is boxing. This is top rank. And this is the main event. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 135 and a half pounds, wearing black trunks with red trim. He brings a record of 19 wins with only one defeat. Seven victories coming by way of knockout from Las Canitas, Dominican Republic, Jackson El Phoenix Marine. Introducing out of the red corner, presented in association with Devella Entertainment. He weighed in at 136 pounds, wearing beige and black trunks. He brings a record of 29 wins, only three losses, 26 victories, coming by way of knockout. He is the former lightweight world champion from Accra, Ghana, fighting out of the Bronx, New York, Richard R.C. Comey! Okay, Richard. Jackson. Trunks are okay on both sides. Just a little high. Anything on the upper part tier, we'll let it go. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Again, I want to caution to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch them up. Good as white day. Timmy, what do you expect early on? You know, Marina's has some really good feet. He has a nice step back. He makes guys fall short, and he's a good counterpuncher. I think it's going to be a little difficult for Comey because Comey likes to get close. He likes to get in range to be able to shoot his power. He's an aggressive type of power boxer that comes forward and likes to get in guys' kitchen. Trey Jackson told us, he said, the way to beat Comey is just simply eliminate mistakes in the ring. Yeah, he had a good assessment of his opponent. You know, he said he doesn't know how to walk the ring. And I think what he was saying is, he's, you know, he's not a good slick boxer. You know, he said he overcommits and he leans over his feet oftentimes and he depends too much on the right hand. So it sounds like to me, at least on paper, he knows what he's getting in there with. see Marinas right away moving away from the right hand of Richard Comey. He's going the opposite direction to his own right. Using his jab from the outside. Richard Comey's trying to get close, trying to get in a position to land that shot right there, the right hand. You see the length he does so with as well. He shoots a long right hand. Sometimes he disguises that right hand behind the jab, and then he'll open up with a left hook and then come behind with the right hand. See that? Okay. You mentioned Ortiz and Carlos Adamas and Murataya. I mean, you got guys who have power that you can get good sparring with. If you're Marinez, you want to try to get a shot in there against Comey as soon as you can. You want to buzz him. You want to hurt him. You want to bring back those bad memories from his last fight. And I know that sounds brutal, but this is the hurt business, and that is a strategy when you're facing a fighter who's coming off of a knockout loss. Well, he told us in a fighter meeting that he's going to be looking for his right hand, and he landed it twice in a row. Nice little struggle right there from Marinas. Richard Comey has a tendency of dropping his hands before he actually shoots. He actually shows his cards before he actually throws a punch. Comey just missed his big right hand. See, Marina is trying to get a little bit comfortable, getting a little bit too comfortable. Got countered right there in between his shots by Comey. There in the right hand again. Work out, work out. Stop, stop. Sit back. Time. Anderson and his knockout. I'm sure you're going to see that on Sports Center in a week from tonight. It is Burchell and Valdez. Okay? How did you feel his strength? Okay. Sigue inteligente, ¿ok? No le, no le enseñe respeto, pero también no, no enseñe balance con nosotros. Usted haga inteligencia, inteligencia, ¿ok? Tia told me, look, he did tell me that Comey is strong. We knew that coming in. So I just said, stay smart. Just watch out for that right. He's trying to set up that right over your jab. So be compact with it. Don't hold, don't hold. See, the jab is the key for Marinas in this fight. And he has to make sure when he counters, he counters often. Anytime, 
anytime Comey makes a mistake, make him pay just to keep him at bay and stay alert. And when he shoots his com and when he shoots his shots, just one or two punches at a time. If he opens himself up, he can get caught with a big shot from Comey. Small bites. Also, if you're Marinez and you know you're facing a fighter in Comey who tends to drop his left hand, you want to hit him to the body often, make him forget about his hair. There it is. Good shot right there for Marinez. And also faint him low and get a reaction out of Comey to see if he drops that left hand so you can land your right hand. Comey's available for the right hand all night long. If I'm in the corner of Marinez, I'm telling them, walk to your right towards the left hand of Comey. Keep walking that way and let that right hand go when he shoots the jab. Well, it's something to hear the emotion in Comey's voice, country and a people. Next week, that'll be in our championship main event as Miguel Burchell looks to have his seventh successful title defense, but it is against the undefeated former featherweight champion, Oscar Valdez. This week on ESPN, you know, it's, it's interesting. You, you see there in the promo and you hear me say in the promo, you know exactly what you're going to get. Drake. Valdez, in recent years, has been hoping not to be exactly what you would expect, and that's why he teamed up with Eddie Reynoso, of course, the famed trainer of Canelo Alvarez. But he's at a stage of life at 30 years old where you are what you are at a certain point. Well, yeah, I, I think he's still going to be improving and his boxing is going to look better, but I don't necessarily feel like he's going to beat Burchelt one way. He's not going to just be able to box or just slug. He's going to have a good, have to have a good mixture of both. And based on some of the comments and quotes that I've heard from uh, Valdez, I think he's made up his mind that there's going to be moments in that fight where he's got to go to war. There is Comey coming in with a right hand here to open up round number three. Marina spread it. He took those right hands very well. Look out. Stop, stop. I, I, I. See, that's exactly what Marina has to do. You know, you're in there with a strong guy. If he's closing the distance on you, you want to slide in, tie him up. Work out, work out. See the physicality of Comey. Comey's physical. Oh, very. he's very physical. You start, you start to see it wear on Marina slowly. There is a ruggedness to him. He's very comfortable coming right through the front door. There's a right hand that swept across Marina's that time. Step back. Don't push him down. Fights with a physical. Marina's has given up too much ground. Too yeah. many unanswered shots that he's been hit with. Mm. That was the same sequence that got Comey knocked out from Lopez. Yeah. Except Comey's right hand landed first stop, stop. in that sequence. Well, they talked about that yesterday, saying, I mean, both Watch guys opened up on that night at Madison Square Garden. It's just Lopez got there first. But what if? Stop. See, that's a lot of mental pressure that Comey's putting on Marinas. You know, making them have to make quick decisions by staying close, by punishing him with those big shots when he gets in close and being very physical. Time! End of three. All right, Tim, we constantly focus in on the weaponry of Comey in the right hand. Yeah, beautiful right hand. We saw him when he fought against Robert Easter. Robert Easter. No to Tangus. No to Tangus. No hold. Round four from Vegas. The return of Richard Comey for Jackson Marinez. He says, this will be my opportunity. A win against Comey, and I'll be right in the mix of what is the hottest division in the sport. A red-hot lightweight stop, division stop. because of all the Watch young stars led off by the guy who is here in the bubble tonight, Tiafimo Lopez. Nakomi's approach may seem crude, but this is his style. This is when he's at his best, when he's not allowing a good boxer like Marinez to think clean, and these shots are starting to add up on the face and the body of Marinez. Work out, work out. Rugged on the inside, just the way he wants it. 
And Joe, you know they're adding up because Marinez is not firing back. Work out, work out. Now work tying out, up on the out, inside as Kenny Bayless encourages them to work out and punch out of that situation. See, Marinez is the type of fighter, and he likes to fight clean. He likes to fight outside where he can stick and move and, you know, but when you get real physical with him, he doesn't know what to do in the inside. He's a little bit weak in the trenches. That's why you got to work your weak areas as a fighter. You can't just do the things you, you're great at or what you like to do in a gym because people will start to figure you out over time. They'll say if you let him box, he's great, but if you press him, he's not great. You have to work on all aspects of your game. That's why you got to evolve as a fighter. I mean, if you don't evolve, then you'll just eventually go and do that. Work out, work out. Stop, stop back. But, you know, what the thing I like about that is, is that he's keeping his hands high, you know, and blocking those shots and, and allowing Marinas to go ahead and punch. Yes, go ahead and wear yourself out a little bit. Eventually, I'm going to come stop, on stop, a little bit later in this stop, round. Stop it. You can actually see Tiafima Lopez in the background there. He's been encouraging Richard Comey from their visit in the locker room to now what he's showing ringside. There's the right hand from Comey. And now he gets right into the kitchen against Marinez. Work out, work out. Hey! Look at me, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do there. He did, he right? When you finish with that suit, you're standing there too long. A lot of attack in the back. Okay? Okay? I'm going to do it, okay? Remember that. Don't think. You gotta be more active. You gotta get after him. Don't show him too much respect. Top shot and move. And then hold it until the referee separates you guys. Don't stand there. Don't exchange punches. Robert Garcia telling Jackson Marine, as you're standing there too long, you don't want to be exchanging with Richard Comey. If you're the better boxer, be the better boxer. And don't show him too much respect. Round number five of our main event, the return of Richard Comey. Stop, stop. Let him up. Just throwing those get off me punches, and Comey's throwing those I'm trying to turn your light out punches. It's a difference. Beautiful jab right there from Marinez. Off the hip with the jab, Marinez. He needs more of that. That's when he's been at his best. Work out, work out. Look, Marinez closing the distance right there, not allowing Richard Comey to extend with those arms. You know, he got those long arms, and when he extends, that's where the power is at. But you can get inside the power by staying close to your opponent. Work out. Mm, just Stop. off the mark right there. That right hand from Comey. See these lows right here when no one's doing anything, you want to shoot your jab right now. Stick your jab out there. You can steal these moments in the, in the round. Marina has tried to sneak her right hand in. It's there for him all night. Nothing's changed. That flaw is there, Dre. Nothing's changed. I think he's felt the physical strength and the punching power of Comey that has him just a little, little hesitant at the moment. There it is again, right in. Work out. Stop, stop. Oh. Here you go. That hurts. Yeah, and he doesn't want to make that complaint. You know, if you got to whisper to your corner when you get back to the mm. in-between rounds, that's one thing. But don't show your opponent that that hurts you. It's a good round for Marinas. Mixing it up. Great round from Marina. You do that. And keep that left hand up. Look at me one more time. Two, three. You hear me? 
Let's get it. Don't throw the two without the two. Added ammunition. Don't show weakness if you can avoid it. If it's an issue with the back, tell your corner, hey, rub my back. My back is tight. But don't give your opponent that. Seems like a small thing, but it goes a long way. Andre Rogier, the veteran trainer of Richard Coleman. I think he's going to lose his mind how many times he says, keep that left hand up. Keep that left hand up. <laughs> Round six, our 10 round main event. Total punches through five rounds. Marina has a 56 to 39 advantage. Comey on the attack early on in round six here. You heard him with a short right hand in that sequence. Mm, there's a right hand from Comey. And then misses with two lefts. See if he comes straight mm, in again. Work out, work out. Dug underneath, look for the work uppercut. Out, Dug underneath. Out. That may have been low. Marinez backs up. Comey comes with a right hand. Stop, stop, stop. Don't push, don't push. Doubles up that jab. Didn't send the right hand behind it. Right hand comes in that time. Good start to round six for Richard Comey. It's a lot of lot of stop, fight stop, left. Stop. And Comey's hands. setting himself up for a knockout. Marinez is not making the adjustments. He's got his head high. And what we're seeing here is the physical strength of Comey breaking down the more skillful fighter as well as the punching power. There was a right hand that got part of the arm, part of the body moments ago, and you can see the impact it had. This is why you got to build up your physical strength as a fighter, especially when you're a good boxer, because Marinez feels helpless right now. He's trying to push Comey off, doesn't have the physical strength. He wants to box. Comey's not allowing him to box. That's a physical strength issue. He's ragdolling him right now. Comey on the attack. Look out, look out. Well, what happened to the tying up? I mean, tying up is part of boxing. You know, Marinez, if you want to stop the action from Comey, tie him up. Stop, stop. It's just exactly like he the just kind did of fight, there. Exactly the kind of fight, the kind of round that Comey wants it to be. Ooh, right yeah. hand comes stop, in. Stop. A one, two, and a little TNT from the Four, former champ. Five. Six, seven, eight, okay. He's hurt to me. Gloves. It's Half a minute well. to finish him. Yes, sir. He's hurt. Watch out. Here comes RC. Ooh. Big right hand. My, oh, my. That was brutal. Fight is over. Richard Comey is back. Thank you. And the former rivals celebrating. The undisputed lightweight champion came here to be ringside to see Comey's return. Well, when he does his thing, he is fun to watch, isn't he, yes, Timmy? Yes, he is. He's definitely fun to watch. You know, he has power in both hands. I, you know, I didn't see the left hook tonight from Richard Comey, but he does possess that punch as well. But beautiful way to just stay consistent, be physical in there, wear down Marinez, and then finally find a kill shot to get out of get him, Get him out of there. Trey, let's go back to the first knockdown before we get to the end of fight sequence. Take us through it. Well, Marinez is breaking. For the official particulars, here's Mark Chinook. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside MGM Grand, this bout comes to a halt at 2 minutes 35 seconds of round number 6. For your winner by knockout, Richard R.C. Comey! Thirtieth win of his career, twenty-seventh knockout. He is back.